surprisingly about the same topic I'm going to be talking about in this stream. Um, and yeah, um, one minute. Alright, so let's um let's get on with it. So obviously tonight marks uh Mick Carter's final um re final return to the show uh before his main exit storyline. So the next time we see Mick off our screens uh for a long time will be obviously when Danny Dyer has left the role. Uh he is currently filming his final scenes at the moment and um, basically, with the images that have been released, I do want to talk a bit about what I think is going on, uh, what my predictions, what my hopes are. Uh, obviously, my main hope is that Mick isn't killed off. Obviously, from the get-go, it was stated that Danny Dyer wasn't going to go out quietly. You know, it wasn't going to get... It wasn't really going to get a, uh, a Nancy Carter exit or, um, you know... Uh, whatever. Oh, and, and Isaac exit as well. Um, oh my God, that was such a bad exit storyline. Um, Isaac Baptiste. Um, but yeah, obviously we do know that Mick, uh, Danny Dyer is leaving the show, and images have re have released. And since I released my uh, Mick Carter final storyline pitch, um, there have been a lot of. Um, things that have happened since obviously it is now also revealed that Janine Butcher is also leaving the role um, oh no Charlie Brooks is also leaving the role of Janine Butcher so the current uh, big couple on the square are both set to depart however I think they're both going to be leaving under very different circumstances and will not be leaving together um, so I'm going to start off by talking about the images uh, I'm going to talk about the main ones, obviously uh, Mick jumping off of that cliff and, oh god, um, that ain't good, Mick jumping off the cliff and also uh, the fight between him and Janine. Uh, I'm going to start off with the, the former that I just mentioned, obviously, um, oh god, I'm going to let that go back into the... Oh god. Oh no, that wasn't nice. That wasn't very nice, that was awful. I'm going back to the thingy. Um, so obviously the first one is Mick uh, flying off of that cliff. Uh, I think it has been stated that Mick is jumping into water. Now obviously we know that that's a pretty dangerous thing to do. And um, obviously his reason behind that is the fact that his car is about to go overboard. So maybe that car has gone through uh, with Linda inside of it. And Mix jumped in to try and save her. Uh, images have also shown that Linda is safe. So Mick is likely left up at sea. Which could be setting up a death storyline. Which I'm dreading. However, an inside report has stated that um, the exit looks open-ended, which means that Mick could possibly survive. That does give me a lot of hope and optimism that Mick will survive, because I personally feel like it'd be very stupid to kill off Danny Dyer's character. Um, you know, this isn't Sean O'Connor, uh, this isn't John Sen, this is Chris Clenshaw, and so far, 
Clenshaw has really done a good job of showing that he knows what he's doing. Um, and I feel like killing off such a massive name is is a stupid idea. Because um, even Danny originally said that he'd love the door to be left open. So, um, with that in mind, I do want to talk a bit about the fight. So, this is very... This is why I'm very much intrigued as to what the, what the setup to this storyline is going to be. Um, I personally am getting the feeling that Janine is going to kidnap Linda simply because of the fact that Mick and Janine are having a bit of a brawl. And we know Mick Carter, as a character, he would not hit a woman. Um, he didn't even hit his abuser, Katie. He didn't even hit her. He grabbed her, he grabbed her head. He shook her head a bit. Um, but they did not, not once did he lay a, lay a hand on her. Um, he didn't slap her, punch her. Um, he didn't, you know, strangle or anything. So I personally get the feeling that we're going to have a similar situation like this. However, um, Mick looks a lot more aggressive in this photo. Danny Dyer is acting his socks off um, with these images. And he genuinely looks like he... I personally think we could see Mick for the first and probably only time uh, hit a woman. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. I think... You know, obviously it's not in line with who Mick is, but I feel like this is because Linda is in danger. She very much does look like she's in danger. She's seen with blood on her. Um, I do very much get the feeling that um, Janine, uh, Mick and Linda are going to rekindle their love and that Janine and her jealousy is going to cause her to go on an outrage and kidnap Linda. Um, you know, the filming on location, uh, so clearly the storyline has got s such high stakes to it. Um, I do hope that they are... The uh, thing is, because of the images, it now kind of feels like it's obvious that Mick is going to die. So I hope we do keep that element of surprise and that we see him survive. Um, I think that would be quite... Oh, okay, the end has been flooded. Um, I think that would be quite a good decision to make, just to kind of set up. Mick's death, but also then have him just leave. Um, because I, I personally feel like this would be the kind of thing that... Um, that just kind of springs Mick on into thinking, you know something is... is life at Wolford ain't, ain't worth it anymore, because this has happened. And not just that, but so many things have happened with Mick... Um, over the last, you know, 10 years of him being on the square, I think it'll, 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 he'll reach his natural decision to just walk away after such a massive, life-threatening event. Um, and I hope that's the case. I hope that we see Mick just, just walk away. Uh, we see him leave happy. We see him leave optimistic. I think, obviously, we know that Linda is staying. However, um, I feel like... Mick would also come to a realisation that it's time to see... Time for a life, you know, where him and Linda are just friends, like they were when they were children. Because um, obviously we've had Mick and Linda, they've had some absolutely gorgeous scenes this year, extremely well written, beautifully performed scenes. Um, one of the scenes I particularly love is Mick and Linda's heart to heart on the... Um, on the bench um, where they were talking about Linda's alcoholism and Mick's trauma. Uh, I feel like that was such a powerful and important scene between the two characters. And I do feel like, I, I do kind of feel like that scene was done for a reason. And obviously, yeah, um, part of it was because of Linda's alcoholism relapse. But also, I feel like that's slowly indicating how Mick is going to leave. Um, sorry, I'm going to respond to this and then continue my point whilst it's still in my head. So yeah, I 
feel like that scene, well, I wouldn't say that scene was specific foreshadowing. However, I feel like that scene was uh, was written with the intent of indicating how about uh, how Mick is, how Mick as a character is doing. Obviously, we know that he is going to propose to Janine. We know that he's also going to be battle battling his own feelings for Linda. Um, he looks to become quite jealous of Alfie and Linda. I mean, rightfully so. I personally find it's a terrible idea, but besides the point, um, you know, I do feel like Mick and Linda um, are going to have a final, you know, final kiss, final, you know, this, that, and the other. Um, and Mick is going to leave after saving Linda. Uh, Janine obviously will. Janine, I think it's safe to say that Janine's going to end up on the run because uh, obviously she'll try to have killed, uh, try to have killed Linda and Mick. Um, you know, it's, that's kind of stating the obvious. That's why I've titled this Mick Carter's Exit Storyline Theories because Janine's Janine's exit kind of. You know, it doesn't really hold as as many stakes behind. Um, it would be an amazing twist if Janine died instead of Mick. I think that twist would be absolutely phenomenal. But there's one thing that, about it that is really... Um, there's one thing about that theory that's really off-putting. Um, in the in the sense that they, they won't do it, and that's because Janine's pregnant. Um, I don't think EastEnders would be inclined to kill off not just one character, but a character who's also pregnant. They were obviously they were close with with Abby Brannon when Abby Brannon died back in 2018. They were very close with that. However, um, Abby Browning had already given birth by the time uh, her character had passed away. So that does leave me thinking that maybe um, EastEnders will not be pulling the same card. Obviously they've done really sensitive and serious storylines like obviously miscarriages and um, stillbirth and really, really hard and uh, touching storylines like that. Um, that's just part of what EastEnders does. Um, obviously, we did that disgusting baby swap storyline about 12 years ago. Um, so it's it's to no surprise, really, um, that EastEnders would go down a dark route like that. However, they've never killed off a pregnant woman. Um, you know, even The Walking Dead hasn't done this. You know, they, that's just another level of, you know dark. Um, I personally think it would be a fantastic twist if they did that. However, because of that darkness behind it, I don't think they will. Um, you know, I think jo uh, Chris Clenshaw has given EastEnders its bottle back, um, especially with the Mitchell storylines they've been doing. I think they've been beautifully done. Uh, you know, Ben's rape storyline, Phil, um, Phil the, the flashback episode as well, which is absolutely spectacular in the way it was performed, written, directed and you know it, it's taken 30 years 30 years of Mitchell storylines to to really give us that and I do feel like that Chris Clenshaw is hopefully going to deliver on the Carter um, Carter family as well um, I hope that you know it's going to be difficult after Mick leaves because at the moment there's only three literally three members of the Carter family left on the show. Uh, this year has been just brutal for that family because we've seen, you know, Tina's um, death was finally discovered, Nancy left, um, Frankie left. Um, I do feel like that that scene in this year in particular has been quite bad for the Carters um, in terms of departures and stuff like that. Um, I hope for a fact that if Mick is killed off, then we see a brief return of his of all of his kids. Uh, just a one episode. No, you know, like how they're doing for Dot, uh, with loads of characters coming back. Lauren, um, 
Lauren, um, I forget, uh, Lofty, Mary, um, others as well. <laughs> you know, I hope that for, for Mick's funeral, what is this bullshit? we see, um, I'm not saying we bring everyone back, I'm saying we bring back, you know, Lee, Johnny, Nancy, Frankie, um, I doubt we'd see Jar Jar, I doubt we'd see, well, we wouldn't, definitely wouldn't see Dean, oh my god. Uh, I doubt we see Buster either, but I do hope that we see some characters come back if Mick does die. Because Mick was such a loved member of the square, and also he was the head of an entire family, so, you know, just, and also I, I don't want to see Shirley put through that as well. I think that would just be a bit gut wrenching. Um, yeah, but I do hope that we see some more. Uh, from the um, the Carter family in the build up to Mick's exit um, but yeah I think with, with this exit storyline um, I'm definitely intrigued about the fight because obviously it's seen that Janine ends up dropping Mick by kneeing him in the balls um, but Mick is also seen grabbing Janine by the hair which is which is making me a bit you know intrigued as to how far Mick is going to go in this fight scene because Mick's never done that to a woman before in all the you know um, physical instances with Linda whether it be Linda slapping Mick, Mick the only like only Mick's ever done is pull Linda away from a bottle or pick her up and put on pick her up and slam her on the bed uh, to lock her in the room never once done that to, never once grabbed the woman by her hair uh, which makes me think that Mick is going to lose it uh, he's going to lose the plot and you know there's going to be a lot of controversy over this because obviously the whole men hitting women debate but let's just remember this is Mick Carter it's not Phil Mitchell it's not Grant Mitchell it's not um, Ian Beale this isn't someone that constantly hits on hits women. This is someone that would rather not hit a woman, but under this circumstance, it, I kind of see it as um as a Batman versus Harley Quinn situation. Ah, oh, busted my car, nice. A Batman versus Harley Quinn situation, where um you know obviously Batman would have to punch up Harley. Um, because she's a villain, Janine is is a soap villain. She's a classic soap villain, and Mick is a classic soap hero. Um, so it's very much um, an interesting juxtaposition between the two characters and their roles. Because this is a this is a story of a hero versus a villain, and at the moment the hero and the villain are together. And next week Mick will propose to Janine. And that's going to really flare up the storyline a lot more. The stakes will be so much higher. Um, obviously, uh, Shirley and Linda will do everything in their power to stop this from happening. Um, hopefully, we do see Shirley and Mick have a lot, few more interactions um, before we see. Um, bit, well, before we see these two, um, you know have their final scene together you know that's what I'm I'm hoping that Shirley will talk Mick out of it um, and that we start seeing the seeds planted for you know Mick's final story Janine possibly getting a revenge story on her I would love to see um, Rick sorry not Ricky versus Mick um, or just Mick beating up Ricky because uh, Ricky cannot fight to save his life and his best mates Phil Mitchell like how does that make sense um, but yeah I do feel like this is going to be uh, when Mick's final storyline begins um, that's why I'm quite looking forward for um, tonight's episodes uh, which I am going to watch a second that this stream's finished because obviously um, it's that's it really from between these two char um, these characters, uh, we're going to start seeing a series wrap for 
um, Mick and Janine relatively soon and also a series wrap for final interactions. I do hope that as many possible interactions can be made uh, or last interactions can be made. Big ones I'd love to see are um, obviously Mick and Shirley, uh, Mick and Jack because of course Mick and Jack did become very good friends towards the early uh, during the early years of Mick Carter and also Mick and Mitch. I feel like those two are Mick's best friends on the square. Um, you know, I do feel like there's going to be a lot of heartbreak and a lot of... I just hope there's there will be some unresolved things, like obviously Mick and Alfie and... Well, Mick can't interact with everyone. In fact, there's some characters he just hasn't interacted with at all. Yeah, right, right, so that's... That's going to be where I kind of finish off for this stream. Uh, thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and do whatever you want. I'll see you all soon, and peace out. Bye-bye.